have come on the board. First England call up, very excited. <laughs> I'm excited to be the home of English football, Brady. Oh, I'm so excited to freeze my butt off right now. Let's go, boys. Kier. Kier. How we doing? How are you? Good, good. St. George's, man. Home of English Gotta football. Gotta love it. Yeah. No, better than there. What you wearing, sir? Little Diodorus leather. A little dirty, a little dirty, a little dirty. But you gotta clean them up, clean them up. Just well worn, well worn. No. No. How do you like it? <laughs> I don't care. Uh, this is my job to do this. <laughs> Hi everyone. Welcome to the ITI Instagram. I'm Brandon. Follow me at... I need to replace you with a prettier face. Hi, right, welcome to the ITI. Where do you get up? Where do you get up? Use Alex then. <laughs> Welcome to the I2I Instagram, the face of the academy of Peyton O'Dell here. I'm about to go on a tour of St. George's Park. Yeah. Well, the, sorry, the Euros last year. Yeah, so the Euros last year. So does anyone know the infamous picture of Harry, Harry Maguire on the unicorn? 
Yeah. 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 So I'll show you the place where that where that bit happened. So, <laughs> yeah, it's quite it's quite a uh, thingy bit. So just while I'm checking the changing rooms are open, I, d I, I think I saw some of you go down there earlier. But there's a signature wall down there. Of yeah. Lots and lots of famous players that have been down there. So you're more than welcome. Just give me two minutes. You can go and have a quick look at there. If you haven't had a look, there's loads of famous players there, past, present, not just England players, but I think. Um, there's some other players on there as well. So go and have a quick look down there and I'll be back with you with you in two minutes. All right, fellas. You may have me standing, bro. 40 minutes. Fire, fire. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Plane needs the upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> we need the ice box. Oh, yeah. Our women's senior teams would use, and the England under 21s would use. So before they come into training, they'd usually use this area. Sometimes we host in house games as well. Um, so we've got loads of stuff in there. Anyone know, anyone spot what those things were in there? Oh, yeah. What are they? The, the ice bath. Yeah, the ice bath. Yeah. So they go in there. So after training or after games, use that for recovery. So it can get down to, I think, I think it can go to like minus 20 at some point. So they go in there, sit there, minus 20. Um, I think they're staying there for three or four minutes at a time. So you can imagine for some parts of the body, it's not ideal. Um, so, so um, yes, yeah, so this is, so at some point, uh, wherever you're sitting, um, like I said, a senior international player is sat there, or a women's senior international is sat there. So, anyone sim uh, familiar with the England team, or do you all follow different teams? Because yeah, no, you know, really. know, the, know the big hitters like Harry Kane and stuff. Yeah. I know there's, I know there's, I know there's players in here. I know those guys are definitely. Your favorite. Your favorite. Who's my favorite? Uh, probably to watch should be Phil Foden. Unbelievable player. Like, you saw him yesterday for Man City as well. Against uh, Watford, yeah. His assist for the first goal was unbelievable. So, yeah, unbelievable, unbelievable player. Um, well, who, what teams have more sport around here? Just out of interest. Arsenal. I just think we've got a Chelsea fan. Listen in. So, um, yeah, so next bit I'm going to take you to now, I'm going to take you to our futsal arena. So, anyone familiar with futsal the sport? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, um, so we're going to take you to our England futsal arena. Now, at the moment, it's where our uh, sessions are going on, where our classroom sessions are going on, but there's parts of the place that you can still take pictures of. The only thing that I do ask is if you can just be really quiet in there, because I'm not sure if they're going to be starting there. So, when you go in there, take a couple of pictures. And then we'll have to head straight out and I'll take you to the next one. Alright, if you want to follow me. <laughs> I <laughs> 
have a look for another couple of minutes but just a couple of things in it. I spoke to some of you a minute ago about what this what this place is this bit this part is for the recovery sessions predominantly so when when the England players have finished their training sessions or finished their matches they'll come in here and do some sort of recovery the other parts to it as well they use it for rehab so if players are injured they'll come in here and do certain parts so the pool behind you that's actually an underwater treadmill so what they'll do is when they're doing the rehab stuff, they can, they'll do that. That bit's the, just a choosy bit. And then I was mentioning to you, I can't remember who the gentleman was, over there. So that's where the famous unicorn racers were played in there. Um, and then the good thing about that pool is they can vary the height of the pool. So we can go from anything from half a metre down to about three and a half metres, I think, depending on what they want to do. And then if you really, really, uh, if you've got an eye for it, if you look on the board, I think some of the, ex, uh, the international players are on there at the moment. So you can see what teams they were put into as well. So you're more than welcome to go and get a photo of that. If not, we'll head straight out and I'll take you to the next part. All right, so I'll wait for you outside. Go to the senior. Go to the England team's pitch. <laughs> Oh, is that even? Getting that good footage, Joey? Of course. <laughs> Love this crap. Boys, come on, get a team photo. Yeah. <laughs> again, 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 again. Are we getting that pick? Yes, we are. Come on, then, Eddie G. Yes, sir. Alex! Yeah, that's boys. So just, just before, just before, um, just before I let you boys go, because um, unfortunately I can't get, I can't get us in the gym because the goalkeeper comes going on. But for the gym, so what the plan was, I was going to take you in there, and you could oversee the pitch. But basically, so that in front of you, that's the length of the, the length of the gym. So in there, everything you can think of is in there. I don't know if you've watched any of the England Inside England training videos on YouTube. So all the all the weights and everything happens all in there. So potentially next time you come, you guys can potentially come down. I can have a look at trying to get you in there, so you can take some photos of that. Um, but yeah, I just mentioned to some of the boys uh, with that picture. That's where the England senior men's, women's, potentially twenty one sometimes train. Um, and a little cool fact for you. So what they do is every every training, uh, every game that they play against, whether it's a qualifier or a friendly. They change the pitch dimensions depending on who they're playing against. So when they're at Wembley, they'll make the pitch as big as possible. But then when they go to somewhere like San Marino, where the pitch is a lot smaller, they bring the, they bring the pitch dimensions in. So they're adapting to the, the distances that they have to train. So I'll give, you, I'll give you one or two minutes to take some more photos if you need to. If not, we're going to have to get you guys straight back into the 3G so we can uh, go for the remaining sessions, all right? But thanks very much, boys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you. 
problem. Thank you. King Godzilla just. Jeez. Sorry, Jeez. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, ye